Welcome back to another episode of the Luxury Home Show. Today, you're joining us in High Wycombe in the rolling Chiltern Hills of Buckinghamshire. And we're gonna be taking you inside this absolute stunner behind me listed for 7.65 million pounds with Mount Grange Heritage. Now, it sits on a two acre plot, so we've got tons of land surrounding this property. It's got six bedrooms and bathrooms and over 8,000 square feet of interior space. Sympathetically built using a combination of Danish brick, oak cladding and glass, the architectural profile of this home is sensational. At the forefront of modern design, this home offers some contemporary solutions to cut down running costs, and it allows you to enjoy all the special features this home has to offer without it costing you an arm and a leg. It's been made up of these long format, handcrafted Peterson Columba bricks and the British oak cladding on the outside. We've even got aluminium glazing systems as well throughout all the glazing in this property. Whoa. Looks pretty special, right? We can see the pool as well behind me, looking pretty awesome. Now let's kick this tour off out the front of the property. We're gonna move past this pool onto the front drive. We have the limestone driveway, it has granite surround, looks stunning. The electric gates leading onto the drive as well. We've got this moat that goes all the way around the property and you've literally got a bridge over into your front, <laughs> into the front door. Crazy, wow. right? Insane. We've got the Yorkstone paving out the front as well. This looks awesome. A little bit frosty today, it's very cold, so make sure I don't slip. Love how the glass balustrades as well give you an uninterrupted view of your little ponds. Some great Japanese, really zen feeling gardens all the way around here. It looks stunning. We've got this pretty much double height beach door at the front of the property as well. Loads of glass. I think we should just head inside, Jazz. Yeah, are you, you ready? ready? Let's go. Here we are then inside the property, gonna stick a floor plan up for you guys so you can understand your bearings, so pause to read that. But as we enter, we've got a great view up to this incredible light fitting, massive ceiling height above me. We've got European oak flooring, prime engineered all the way through this ground floor. Where should we go first, Jas? Kitchen? Uh, yeah, let's go kitchen. Okay, so in here is a built up kitchen, a German design known for their functionality and clean lines. It's a really fresh design but also it's very, very practical. So we've got two dishwashers this side. Wow. Sink in, in the middle here. We've got the Gaganau hob, gas hob, with the built up extractor up above. We've got Gaganau appliances on this side. I really like the green shade. Yes. It's cool, isn't it? And it's, like I said about functionality, you know, both of these doors open out into the room. You know, sometimes when fridges inconveniently like, open the wrong way. Yes. That is not this. <laughs> yeah, loads of nice horizontal and vertical lines consistently in here. Yeah, the design is pretty spectacular. Mm -hmm. We've got Delta Light light fittings throughout here, dual aspect windows in that kitchen as well. And then as we come round, we have the dining space. So this half wall where Jazz is kind of separates these two sections off. Yeah. It's very open plan, but I like how we do have these kind of separations just to make it feel a little more, bit more intimate and cozy. Yeah. And then we have this custom built cow fire fireplace here. We've got another one in the lounge to the other end of the property as well. You can actually customize the whole fireplace. Black granite surroundings as well. Yes, I love how it looks like it's floating with the ambience underneath. It's a great illusion. We have access out to your swimming pool here just behind me as well. Jazz is going to show you that, so stay tuned. If we come to the other end of this double-sided fireplace, we have this lounge set up, nice TV fixed up on the wall, and the staple of this home, the Ferrari Reds. You can see that in the interior design. As we go throughout, we've got access out to your garden. We've got two acres here, like I said at the start. Massive plot. And then we've got access this side onto your courtyard. So there's literally outside access everywhere. You can open them all up. The Ooh. amount of glazing throughout here is incredible. You literally have light coming in from every aspect at any time of the day. Yeah. We're gonna head back across into the entrance hall then, past the staircase. I'm gonna go across. We have a guest bathroom in here, WC. Lovely. And then if we come in here, we have this room with so much glazing again. We've got a double aspect this side. These birds actually create such a nice shadow on the walls. Yeah. We have the Ferrari red seats here. Obviously I keep saying Ferrari, just stay tuned because you're gonna see one downstairs. We've got the Cal Fire fireplace here. Again, fully customizable holographic fireplace. So it creates a synthetic but ultra real flame. It's pretty cool, isn't it? 
It is. Out here you can see our Japanese rock garden that we've got. Oh, We're yeah. going to give you a full walk through of the garden because it's pretty special. Mm -hmm. We've got the Lutron lighting system as well throughout the property. Super convenient. Underfloor heating throughout this ground floor and all the other floors as well actually I The think. bathrooms, yeah. Yeah. We have a great vent axia heat recovery system as well so that any wasted heat that leaves the property is actually used to heat the fresh air coming in. Yeah. You can save up to 90% of the wasted energy. Wow. That's pretty good, isn't it? That is. <laughs> right, so now we're going to head downstairs and show you guys one of the coolest floors in this house. Let's go. Okay, at the bottom of the property, we have my favorite room. I think we should head straight in, Jazz. We're stepping down here. Right above my head, we have a glass floor. We actually have another one on the level above as well, so you can see all the way through to the top of the house. We have a gym space through here, but this is currently being used as a car showroom. And we've got some very cool cars in here at the moment. Wow. We have a Ferrari BB512. Under a thousand of these were made when they were first produced. So yeah, very rare. Porsche 911 here, turbo, soft top in that white with the blue roof. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it, it Jazz? It does. Through here, we have a car lift. So if you want to easy access, escape the back cave, you can head straight up onto the street. Mm -hmm. Uh, you, this has got so many uses though. Imagine like what else you could use this room for. Yeah, exactly. It could be like an art, art gallery collection. Yeah. Maybe even this whole thing could be a gym. Yeah. Yeah, you've just massive amounts of potential here. And as you can probably see on the wall, we have the shell of an old <laughs> Formula One Ferrari. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible, isn't that it? That is massive. Yeah, and a lounge set up here as well so that you can sit with your guests and act like that's not on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> As well as the Delta Light light fittings that we have downstairs, we have aircon, but also a sprinkler system. So if there was to be a fire down here, your cars don't go up in flames. Yes, <laughs> pretty, <laughs> pretty essential. Actually, have a look at this, Jazz. This, this uh, big photo, you can actually see this is one of the Ferraris, oh, just wow. like the one on the wall. That's so cool. Well, it looks like it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know more about it than me. I like how you can actually see from each of the bedrooms next to me. You can see through. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a little internal courtyard almost. So cool, isn't it? Now we're going to head through into the cinema room. Check this out. We have a Cynic bespoke custom cinema, acoustically lined. You can tell probably the sounds changed now that we're in here. It's super soundproof. Yeah. I love these seats. Yeah, all custom design, like I mentioned. And they've got some great motorized parts as well. Wow, look Check at this go. Out. We've got ultimate comfort in here. Honestly, I could sit here, watch the World Cup, watch some movies. Yeah, it's a very special space. Yeah, we've got the Sony projector above as well, so always the best quality. Yeah, exactly that. Great sound system in here as well. Yeah, those seats are so cool though. They're the Sonique Strato Plus Dual Motorized leather seating. Wow. Yeah, Go mouthful. On, <laughs> yeah. So heading back out then, all of these internal doors are made to order beach doors and they have a really nice flush finish to them so there's no architraves they're completely flush with the the surround it looks yeah. great yeah i think it's the jam system yes those. yeah and then through here through this glass screen misted nice and private we have a sauna Ooh. it's actually a duravit sauna it'd be a great part of your morning routine in here right yeah definitely especially if you've got the gym down in the car showroom yeah okay coming back out then we're going to go straight across the hallway into the first bedroom Ooh. So in here we have a nice low ceiling height, but then a sort of false ceiling. So we have a great ambient light strip coming all the way down this side. Double bed in the center. It's very cozy. It does. And all of this storage. Now, Jazz, if you come a little bit closer, you can see this bespoke cupboards and shelves. So deep. Wow. Yeah. I like the textured material in there as well. It looks great. It actually looks textured, but it yes. isn't. Then we have the ensuite through here. A real understated design. We have the Axor hand square taps and fittings throughout. We've even got a bidet and toilet here. I love how this is one tile too, Jazz. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? So seamless. And then we've got mirror storage through here as well. A really deep bath. Yeah. Of the electric shower. Right, back out then. We're going to go across past the staircase again. We have another bathroom, just like upstairs. Guest bathroom through here. It is oh, incredible. <laughs> sorry, that's so toasty under my feet. Nice, mm. jealous. Yeah. It is incredible how bright it is down here just because of that glazed landing above. Yeah, literally. And then if we come through here, we have a utility space at the bottom of the house. 
This is so cool. Obviously, we've got the bedrooms down here. So this could kind of be like a self-contained living section. We've got yeah. literally a fully equipped kitchen. We've got the AEG oven, microwave, and the induction hob here. Yeah. We've even got the extractor fan tucked up behind here. You can barely see it. Super nice. seamless. And then we've got the Bosch washing machine and dryer here. Another bedroom then through here. Similar setup to the other side, very much a, a mirror image. And then we have the ensuite through here. Similar design, but the shower walk in here. I love the tiles. Yeah, they're so incredible. good. They're literally just one big length from, from top to bottom. Nice. Stunning. This cupboard here is just for some storage and bits. Mm -hmm but we have the rest of the bedroom at the top of the property and the garden to get through. So don't go anywhere yet. Jazz is gonna take you up there and show you those. Let's go guys. Let's go. So coming up onto the first floor, just wanna talk a little bit about the stairs. We have the bespoke oak cladded floating staircase with the glass guard. Looks incredible. We also have the exposed Danish brick throughout here too with the up and down lighting, creating some awesome shadows. Loving that glass box as well at the no. end. You've got so much light coming through and we're actually kind of floating here. And another great thing about here is you've got this gallery landing. Taking a look at that incredible chandelier. And you can also see your driveway from the window above the door. Come on into the principal suite though. We've got a great sized bedroom in here. Double bed in the center. I'm loving the vaulted ceiling in here. And we've also got the ceiling height dropping here above the bed to make you feel a bit more cozy with the ambient lighting around the outside too. Over here, you can see we've got another one of those Cal Fire fireplaces with the granite surround. It looks incredible. And then we've got access out onto your roof. Currently frosted. Currently but yeah. very frosty, so you wouldn't want to do that. Great to have that access though. Yes. And I just love all the um, furnishings in here. We've got this very simplistic style, like this table, for example. And once again, we've got the Ferrari style interior design. Yes. Nice windows in the corners, even those really thin ones, just cast in some nice light in. Exactly, it's such a light filled room. But as we come through here, this is really special. We have the glass fronted Maltini and Co wardrobes in all the bedrooms there. Oh, so good so deep like tom was saying downstairs but my favorite part of this little walk-in wardrobe is actually this section here we've got the dual aspect view out to the front of your property yeah, you can see the bridge special. yeah brings so cool. in light as well next to the walk-in wardrobe section we have the ensuite we've got the big freestanding whirlpool bath in the middle once again we have the dura bit sinks and bath. We've got the bespoke beach vanity units here. It's got integrated lighting and sockets also with the dual sinks. And then we also have it so it matches the pocket door. So you've got these in all the bathrooms, which is really handy and space saving. Over where Tom is, we've got the walk-in shower with the huge tiles and that half tile running all the way across the bathroom. Let me just show you guys this door, right? I've Tom's been thinking about this. Bit. Yeah, I've been thinking about this all day, right? There's a door here and a swimming pool down there. Can you imagine jumping? You've got to, haven't you? You could definitely make it. Like this video if you would jump. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna head to the next bedroom, but en route to the next bedroom, we have this really cool glazed landing. So we've got the glass floor. You can see all the way, well, spooked myself out then. You can see all the way down to the gym. Can you see Tom? <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, yeah we're, we're looking down through two yeah. whole floors there. And this is why that lower ground floor has so much light. Yeah. And it's incredible. And you've also got the glass windows here. Next bedroom. Got a great size double bed, the inbuilt storage once again with those same glass fronted doors. And we've got a dual aspect where Tom is looking out to the front of the property again. And through here, a very similar theme ensuite with the walk-in shower basin and a round toilet and it's worth noting the push plates are actually on top instead of on the side. <laughs> Flush. <laughs> Another vaulted ceiling in here looking incredible but if we come on we're going to go into the next bedroom. Which way Tom? Left or right? Right. <laughs> Didn't know we left some rights then. <laughs> I love finding these little surprise windows just hidden in the nooks and crannies of the room bringing all the light in. Take a look. You can see out to the back of your garden. Not with your head in the way, I can't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have, in two of the guest bedrooms, this one included, 
the custom bioethanol ribbon fireplaces. The ceiling heights in here as well are insane. All these bedrooms benefit from that. It's literally a double height ceiling. Got another similar ensuite behind Tom with the same colors and we've got that ambient lighting around the custom vanity units, just making it feel like it's glowing in there. We carry on. And we have our final bedroom, once again, very similar to the others with the ceiling, heights, double aspect out to the front. This one's actually. So cool that you can open those all the way out. I can imagine in the summer months, you know, opening those out, getting a nice breeze in would yeah. be great. And those birds create some great shadows. They do. I can imagine that being really good with some glass balustrades if you had kids. So yeah. you've got the alternative. Once again, inbuilt storage where Tom is. And then we have the bathroom through this pocket door. But we're not done with the tour yet. I'm going to take you down into the garden and show you a little bit out there. Let's go. In the garden, you can see the sun has started to set, meaning this house looks incredible. All that glazing really does make a big difference when you're looking at it from outside, doesn't it, Tom? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay, so I want to quickly have you guys look around. Check out all this space. Like we said, we've got two acres here. Yeah, and it's a lot of ground to maintain. Yeah, we've got all this lawn. There's actually two large rainwater harvesting tanks underground for the irrigation system. So that's really handy, keeps this grass looking nice and fresh. It's quite crispy right now though, because yeah. of the frost. <laughs> it's frosty, isn't it? Oh, it looks incredible, doesn't it, Tom? It We've so got good. the York stone surrounding it. And Tom, if we look over here, come follow me. Where are you taking us? I'm taking you over to one of the Japanese rock garden sections. Oh right. wow, very Watch zen. Out. It's a bit slippy. Very tranquil. Yeah. So we've got this weathered limestone custom built water feature. It runs all the way along through the pond and the stream too. Looks incredible. We've got this always self-cleaning system as well, meaning that the pond keeps itself clean. Yeah, it uses UV light, I think. It can yeah. save you up to 40% of a normal water feature. Wow, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. I like this outside dining area. If you kind of come closer to the house as well, you can see the glass above the gym. Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> All that light coming up just creates a nice ambience in the garden. So cool. <laughs> love this Danish brick. I love how long and horizontal the bricks are. I like this little path as well. Yeah, got the deck in leading you from this dining area into your access in the lounge. This is the car lift. Yeah. I can't stand on it so we can see it properly. This is the car lift that would be... Oh, we were wondering where it was. So you've actually got a flat piece of lawn that comes all the way around that you could actually easily bring this through. Yeah, oh. so you can drive around from your front drive. Yeah. How cool is that? That is pretty cool, isn't it? Right, let's check out this pool now. The incredible pool. You can see quickly the oak cladding above me, but we've got this mosaic lined pool. It's actually 14 meters long, which is incredible. We've got the York stone all the way around it. Wow. It's actually heated, so it's really secluded. You can't see it from the road, so you can easily come out, take a dip. And like I said, heated. It's got a great safety features in place as well. We have an automatic cover that comes over the top when needs be. And it's also got an insulation cover, so it keeps it nice and warm. Also, Jazz, just above your head is that window I said about. Oh, yes. So I know I keep going on about it, but imagine that jump. Yeah, well, I know you keep going on, but now I'm doubting it because that's a lot of distance. Oh, that's doable. You think? Don't recommend it. Don't recommend. <laughs> Full disclaimer, don't do that. <laughs> There's also a triple car garage with the same Danish brick and wood cladding. We've also got another gorgeous water feature here with that limestone. We hope you guys have enjoyed this video. We are in such an amazing location here in the Chiltern Hills, really immersed in that natural beauty and it carries on into this property. The architecture is outstanding, probably one of my favourites we've seen so far. But yeah, like I said, hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up as we are bringing you a new tour every single day for Vlogmas. We'll see you in the next one.